Hey YouTube, MDEX Music here and welcome back. We're excited because today we're launching a new ear training app, Polytonus 2. So if you've used some of our stuff in the past, you might be aware of, of Polytonus 1 and what that can do for your ear training abilities. Well now we're gonna drop Polytonus 2, which is a sort of different take on ear training. Like, so whereas Polytonus 1 focused on like a more uh, tonal, multi-pitch ear training approach, here today we're gonna to talk about Polytonus 2, which is gonna use a more uh, reverse ear training approach. This is gonna really help you uh, find your inner ear and use that. Polytonus 2 is gonna focus on intervals, triads, and seven chords. And you can study these uh, melodically or harmonically. So something really awesome about Polytonus 2 is this machine learning algorithm that's built into the app. What this is gonna do is basically optimize your learning curve. We've basically made the app so that it's gonna focus on intervals that you're not as familiar with and avoid the ones that you're more or less proficient at. And it's gonna learn all of that along the way as you, as you use it, which is a really neat feature. So Polytonus 2 is available on Mac iPad and iPhone. We're gonna work on the uh, Mac version today just because it's a bigger screen and easy to see, but it is available on all three devices. So one of the really cool things about Polytonus 2, or one of the things it illustrates like right off the bat is how all of the intervals that are more or less important to you with regard to ear training are illustrated right there with these spheres. Like that's it. That little small group of spheres is all you really need to know about all the intervals in ear training and some of the triads and seven chords that you're gonna need to be proficient. And so it kind of makes it a little less uh, overwhelming, you know, like that's it. Just that collection of spheres right there. And they're color coded accordingly so that you see the black balls are basically the harmonic intervals, the ones you're familiar with, major third, perfect fifths, minor six, all that stuff. And then what we have next to that are these other colored balls like the red ones, those are your seven chords, your major sevens, your minor seven flat fives. And the blue spheres basically represent just your, your triads, your three note chords. So looking at Polytonus 2 for the first time on the Mac, you're gonna see these two screens. The screen on the left is basically all of our intervals and it's divided into three, three sections here and the unfamiliar intervals are stored at the top. You'll notice here, we've been working on it a little bit, playing around with it. So some of these intervals have moved down from the unfamiliar uh, part of the screen into the familiar part of the screen. And then down here, when we get really, really good at certain intervals, they'll fall down there. And on the right-hand side, this is where we're gonna be tested when we actually start using the app. This is where we're gonna select our, our choices from. So let's do this. Let's just start from scratch. I'm gonna go to preferences, and we're just gonna reset all scores. Okay, and close. So now they're all going back up to the unfamiliar part of the screen. And they're being played, obviously, as you can hear them falling onto screen. So basically, now that we're starting from scratch, all of our intervals and triads and seven chords are in this unfamiliar territory up at the top. And our goal is to move them down to familiar and hopefully eventually proficient. Now, if I click on any of the spheres, I can hear the interval or chord that it represents. And right now it's set to hear them harmonically, but we can change that if we want to hear them melodically. We go to preferences and then just unclick spheres, play harmonically, and then we're good to go. So in the very beginning, Polytonus 2 is going to use melodic intervals uh, to, to help develop your ear training because those are a bit easier to understand. And like we said before, it's going to use the machine learning and eventually change once it says, okay, you're good to go with those, it will start switching over to harmonic intervals. So let's just click on play here and, and see how it works. So it's asking me right here to find the perfect unison. And then if I wanna hear each sphere again, each example again, I can click on it. And I think that's the unison. I double click, I get my check, my check mark. The landscape in the back is starting to develop as we get more and more right answers. You'll see more and more of this landscape evolve. Now it wants me to find the minor third. So I'm using my inner ear and hoping to anticipate what the minor third is going to sound like in my head first before I hear it. And 
and that's the one so all right so there I answered that one so quickly that I got bonus points for it so if you if you're really confident with your answer and you don't need to hear the rest or you know the first two are wrong and you click on the third one before it plays it you're gonna get a, a bonus for doing that so we're kind of rewarding uh, speed and proficiency with that feature. So let me just try a few here and see how long it takes for me to get to the end of the level. Perfect fourth. There we go. And ah, there we go. There's our animation and we've leveled up. So now let's click on play and see what happens to our, our landscape over here and which one of the intervals that we just worked on are now moved into the familiar territory. So now I see the perfect fourth, the perfect fifth, and the diminished fifth are now down in this familiar area. So now Polytonus 2 is going to focus on other intervals that I'm not familiar with and it's going to more or less like leave those guys alone. So up at the top of the screen here we have our preferences panel. This is gonna allow us to change a few features within the app, like how fast these intervals will play from one note to the next, if I want them to go quickly or slowly. So as we saw before, the playing the spheres harmonically versus melodically option right there. As it is right now, we're testing everything. The fourths, or the intervals I should say, the triads, and the seven chords. Um, we're only hearing intervals now because that's how Polytonus 2 is going to work. It's going to start you there and sort of graduate you to the other stuff, the triads and then the seven chords. But if you only wanted to work on seven chords or just triads or just intervals, you have the option to do that here also. All right, guys, so there you have it. There's Polytonus 2. Uh, hopefully now you can see uh, in conjunction with Polytonus 1, you have now this like two-pronged approach to understanding ear training and, and music theory. So hopefully both of those apps together uh, will make you stronger with regard to recognizing these intervals and chords and stuff you're going to see in your music. So get Polytonus 2 today, available for Mac, uh, iPhone, and iPad. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on that notification bell to stay up to date on current content. Thanks for watching.